Hello YouTube, I'm Nicola and for today's slow-mo I've convinced Sai to bring the camera along to Bristol Zoo to film one of my absolute favourite creatures, butterflies. Butterflies flap their wings around 25 times per second, which is pretty speedy. What um, first shot do you think we should go for? I think we should just start with a takeoff. Got it. And what frame rate was this one? This was at a thousand. So what's what's happening with that abdomen then, Nick? Why is why is that shaking up and down? Like, so he's bringing it up there. Yeah. Then... Well, butterflies are capable of combining a variety of um, aerodynamic maneuvers to fly, and uh, they're even inspiring scientists to develop small flying robots based on the way they move, awesome. which is pretty cool. Yeah. Butterflies are quite different to birds and planes. They're actually much more like swimmers. So they like push the air around them in order to move through it. Right. So if you look at this um, lace wing that we've captured here, you can see as it's taken off, it's peeling its wings apart um, from the front. And that causes the air to rush down and right. it increases the force of the downward push, right, um, right. Which, which allows it to lift. So you can see this guy is coming in and really throwing on the brakes or trying to maneuver. I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. And you see how it gets its wings at quite a steep angle. Yeah. Well, one of the ways they do this is they create like these swirling vortices on the edges of their wings, oh, which right. is kind of like a mini whirlwind. So by doing that, these whirlwinds kind of create a push and it enables them to again get more lift to move with. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's pretty That's cool. pretty amazing. I'm not sure exactly what's going on there. But when he takes off, kind of leaves his legs hanging for a little bit. Some studies have found that butterflies will raise one leg in the air to kind of do their pre-flight checks as if they're checking the wind, cool. see if they can take off. And then, yeah, they've got sensors in their feet. And once they realise the conditions are good, they can take off. Pretty, pretty techy little animals then. Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> Whoa, that's awesome. They actually look pretty clumsy when they take off. Yeah, and that um, irregularity actually works to their advantage. So if you think about if you slam a book shut like this, it kind of causes a, a push of air to move up yeah. and the butterfly uses that to move down. And oh. kind of combined with the other aerodynamic maneuvers that it's capable of, that's what we see as a flutter. And it actually makes it much more difficult for predators to catch them in the wild. So if you think about if you were in the street and you did like a combination of a hopper skip and a backflip instead of a walk, it would People much... would think I was mad. They would think you were mad, <laughs> but it would make you much less predictable. Yeah. They're not as clumsy as they might look. There's actually quite a lot of technique to it. There's a lot of technique going on there, yeah, and we just don't see it in real time. So this long appendage that we're seeing here is called a proboscis and it's what butterflies use to feed. So it's kind of like a, a modified jaw. So right. two segments kind of come together to form a tube. So the main staple of a butterfly's diet is nectar, but as yep. you can see here, they also eat fruit. 
And what's really interesting about these guys is that they taste with their feet. Uh, <laughs> so if that were me, I'd be tasting my socks or something yeah, like that. Yeah, pretty much. Ugh. So they've got these, uh, these things in their feet called chemoreceptors. And uh, when they land on something sweet, it tells their proboscis to unroll and to drink. Wow, that's incredible. That's yeah. really cool. So you can see with this species that the wings are this brilliant blue colour, yep. but actually they're brown. There's tiny structures on the surface of the wing and they're disrupting the light frequencies so that it's only reflecting blue light. Oh wow. Yeah, it's pretty That's cool. pretty amazing. So to read more about the science that we've talked about today, make sure you click on the link below. And to keep up with the latest videos from Earth Unplugged, be sure to subscribe. And don't forget to keep your comments coming in because we love your suggestions for slow-mo. Everything about him is evolved to do one thing really, which is to go very fast. But it's not going to be easy for him trying to catch G on the bike. It's going to be hard to concentrate with this falcon chasing me down the hill. My advantage is going to be I'm going to be riding fast downhill, there's jumps, there's drops, there's turns, changing direction and hopefully I'm going to be able to stay ahead of the bird and, and keep away from it. So this is going to be the ultimate experiment between man and bird.